guys, welcome back. So today's video has been very requested by you guys and thank you so much for being so patient with me for getting this video up. I don't know why like I kept putting this one off but today I'm finally filming this video for you and it's all going to be on the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation uh, swatches and all their new colours and stuff like that. I don't have their full colour range, they did send me a couple. Actually I think they sent me four of their new colours. So I'm going to do some swatches for you and tell you what my perfect match is and maybe some tips on how to find your perfect colour. Especially if you're buying online, I know it can be a bit harder to like buy for your foundation colour. I do already have the shade F400 which used to be my old shade but it was kind of dark for me. I do however have a video review on uh, the F400 shade. Not the right colour for me but... Um, if you want to know how it wears on skin and things like that, if you want to go check that video out, I'll leave a link in the info box. But yeah, we'll just jump straight into this video. I am bare skin right now, so I'm going to do a few swatches on my face because I feel like that's better. Let me just put the F400 first on my skin. This is what the foundation looks like. Oh, please mind my ratchet nails. But um, if you guys haven't seen this before, this is what the EX1 foundation looks like. Um, it's super affordable um, and... I'm really happy that they've expanded their colour range now. So I'm gonna do a 400 like here somewhere. I'm gonna use this in ages. I really want you guys to see like the colours, so I'm gonna do really thick swatches. Okay, so that's F400. As you can see, it's more on the darker side compared to my skin but when I used to wear concealer and things like that it kind of evened out although it did kind of make me a bit more tan which I don't really mind to be honest because normally I do go for darker foundations for some reason I don't know because I feel like it matches my neck my face is so much paler than the rest of my body for some reason so their shades used to be F100 to F500 but now it's 1 to 13 they have changed it to numbers now so I have the colours 8, 10, 11 and 13 so I'm going to swatch these for you, these are the ones I have so hopefully one of these colours would be your skin tone so I'm going to start with the darkest one which is 13 I really hope they come out with more colours like darker ones because it's obviously not the darkest colour out there so it's very similar to the F500 then I'm going to do shade 11 The next one is shade 10. I could get away with uh, wearing um, 10, but it's a bit more neutral rather than... I feel like uh, number 11 has more yellow tone to it. Can you see how it's just less yellow? It's a tad bit more on a neutral side. It's not too pink, it's not too yellow, but just in the middle. And I feel like my skin's not that neutral. I feel like it has quite a, a yellow tone to it. Because I could, but either way, like if I blend number 10, that blends perfectly to my skin tone. So I could get away with both of them. It's just, it depends on what tone you prefer. And I really prefer like a yellow tone. I just feel like it suits my complexion more. And I do have it, I, I would say I do have a yellow tone to my skin. And then the next colour is shade 8. I'm running out of space, but I'm going to put it here. So if I blended this out, that would definitely be too light for me because it gives like a grey cast. But it's... It's kind of like a beigey kind of colour. Well, there's not really any name for any colour, to be honest, like a set name. But let me just zoom you guys in. So that's F400, uh, 13, 11, 10 and 8. Okay, so I'm just by the window without the lighting. And I really want to show you guys the colours in natural daylight. So that one is definitely my colour. Can you see how it's a bit more neutral? That's what I used to wear, like I can't believe I used to get away with that colour. And that's just the lightest one I have so far. I've got foundation all over my nail. Um, but yeah. 
so you guys can see the colors so i've just removed all the foundation off my cheek and i'm going to moisturize my skin um i'm using the mac Stro cream i got a mini, a mini one because i really wanted to try it out and i do really like it to be honest it's really nice and i'm just gonna put this all over my skin i just really like how it's really lightweight it gives like a really nice little natural sheen to your skin it's got like pink pearls in it i feel like pinky pearls but you can't really see them when you like blend your skin out well when you blend your moisturizer out so yeah i'm gonna get the shade 11 which is my new color and i'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand blend this and because this foundation is more on the yellow side i feel like wherever i'm a bit darker or i have a bit of pigmentation it doesn't go gray Whilst if I went for a more neutral one, it would definitely kind of go grey around my mouth area, especially. Okay, so that's the foundation applied everywhere else. I always get foundation in my hair. Look at that. Oh, let's just ignore that and pretend that didn't happen. Yeah, it applies really, really well, especially with a beauty blender. It, I like to apply it with the brush as well. And I just think it's a really good, affordable foundation. I would recommend it more for um, combination normal skin. And even if you do have dry skin, so I have dry skin, you can still wear it, but just make sure that your uh, face is hydrated first. But apart from that, it gives you very, really good coverage, um, and I just really, really like it. I just love the fact that it's so affordable and that they do come out with new shades. And I really hope those swatches helped you out. I'm going to go do my makeup, well, the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's probably going to be super quick. Um, this video is mostly to show you guys the new shades and talk to you a bit about them. Um, but definitely a few tips on how to find like your tone. I would say look at your veins on your wrist and see if they're like a more of a greeny colour or bluey colour. This is what I learned ages ago. But if you have more like greeny veins like I do... Um, then you'll pro most probably be like a yellow tone and then if you're if you have more like really blue veins then you're more on the pinky tone side um but that's that's only for like if you want to see if you're pinky or um or if you're yellowish in tone there's also a website that i found out about called findation which i'll link below that helps you to find your color um, according to old foundations that you use that match you properly and um, that's another option that you could use to find your color or just try um, and like I say always this is what I do when I like shop for shades online I always go on Google and I type in the shades and I write swatches and there's always someone that has like swatches on their blog page or something like that and then I also go and look up reviews on the foundation and the colour and see which other people are wearing the same colour that I'm looking for and see if that would, would suit me. So, um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, make sure to ask them below in the comments and make sure to hit the thumbs up button if you did find this really, really helpful. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. And as always, I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye!